Yo, what's up, y'all? This is your boy Raw coming at you raw. And I got a Destiny video for you guys. I want to say things Destiny can borrow from other games to make it better. But first, please leave a comment on this video letting me know do you guys still play Destiny? Or um, do you see the potential in Destiny? Answer those two questions for me. And please leave a like, a little tap of the little thumbs up button. I will, it, it'll be much appreciated. And please subscribe for more gaming news from console to PC and maybe even mobile, tablet, and phones. But look, going off that, getting off that, let's get into the thing I want to talk about. The first point is Destiny should have a third person mode in PvE. All right, in PvP, I. I can see them implementing it, but in PvP, it would be so desirable, like you could just explore the world in third person, running around the world in third person. Um, I think the game will benefit much from it, and mind you that, you know, in this third person state, you're just exploring, your gun's down, you know, you, you're just exploring, running around this hostile area with your with your gun down camera pull back and once you get hit like this clip right here see this is what I mean like when you get hit you pull out a third person it interrupts your third person camera viewing to go right back to first person and I think that would be super awesome if it could do that now to the next point right here is sparrow sparrows in destiny are like the horses in destiny uh, you know you gallop across the um, lands with it summoning it at will um what if you can do this this is the second point you can go in first person now these options to go third and first basically you could you, you could go in third when you're exploring in the cosmodrome which was the first point and i'm not saying just cosmodrome you know pve content you could go in third person gun down and it'll be a button prompt or a way to get to that or gesture holding down left um, on a d-pad and the same thing with sparrows you know you can go into first person sparrow driving and I think that it will be just so beneficial to the immersion of the game going in first person driving in sparrows like just last month um, Bungie introduced sparrow league racing and racing with your sparrows was cool but what if you can go in first person racing it feel like something straight out of episode one on Star Wars but you know, first person sparrow racing. The next point is actually gun customization, but not really gun customization. Just like a quick way to get inside this menu right here where you can see your gun perks and such and click different scopes and, and stuff like that on the fly. Now I'm gonna show you a clip of Crisis 2. Watch your ass, Prophet. Now in this game, you can do this. You can just pull your gun up and customize it right on the fly. Now picture in Destiny, you know what I mean? You're in the tough pickle. You can just pull up your gun and from this quick menu, you can change the scope. You could change maybe the three perks that's that's on some weapons. And I think that that will, I'm telling you, change up the quality of life or give more so to the quality of life. Um, I really hope uh, if any of my ideas come through, this will be clear for you guys. Now the next part, of my video is really me going back to the beginning now pulling your gun down in destiny if you want to put your gun down it takes forever now all these things I'm saying is all about immersion all these things all these little quality of life stuff that's about the immersion um, keeping you in the game keeping you like I'm here I'm there and basically putting your gun down shouldn't take this long See, nah, man, that's too long. I just want to put my gun down and run around 
just just like having your gun down you know what i mean like how you look aiming at a rock all the time you know you don't you don't have enemies right here your gun shouldn't be up right here and of course when we walk into this new area um it re it resets the whole the whole thing we we're doing to keep our gun down now i know we're in a in an in a enemy zone and i can understand why they force you to put your gun back up but when no enemies are firing at you if you get hit it could keep it could bring it could bring your gun up and if you were in third person it would just put you back in first person with your gun up and you know that's what i'm trying to i'm trying i'm trying to say you know let us be able to put our gun down button prompt or something um but yeah going to the next part of the video now this is actually from a uh, idea of like the dark zone from the division let's say you're in this area where loot can drop publicly and you see another player and y'all looking at the engram y'all like and you know it just goes off everyone's trying to kill each other for that piece of loot and you know you you just you you trying to kill the pve around you while you're trying to fight other players and i think that would just be so cool to have a dark zone in patrol and obviously it can work the other way you know your guy sees the loot and he's like hey man high five yeah man it's, it's yours and then obviously the enemy comes and you like let's fight this enemy and we'll get that loot after you know what i mean it could go both ways you could play hey you have the loot enjoy or you could be like it's mine and fight so yeah you know what i mean like a dark zone in pve where guardians go in and could attack each other for loot and it'll just be for fun right but also it could be like hey this is the wild you know what i mean i know we we what's up we're cool with the traveler but yo this my loot that's that's something i want and you're right there and i'm I, i'm willing to fight you for it so yeah you know what i mean that dark zone ideal can carry into destiny now the next um thing i want to talk about is in destiny you have this the this this place where are in in orbit you can pick your destination now what if you can do all that stuff in the cod pit you know what i mean what if you can go in first person while you're flying and this is a small point really but what if you go in the cod pit while you're flying and you could on the console in the ship you can pick where you want to go and invite people to your to your fire team in, in the cod pit just more immersion you know what i mean um uh, and, and that, like I said, that point is small, but I think that'd be cool. Um, I, uh, I, I'm almost done with all this, but if you guys stuck with me this long, all I want to say is thank you. You know what I mean? Like these types of videos takes take a lot um, to 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 consider. You know, when it comes to the background editing and all that stuff. And please drop a like. You know what I mean? I would appreciate that. Uh, and to be honest, you know what I mean? If I ever come up with any more ideas, I'll just make a part two of this video. But yeah, that's all she wrote, guys. Please leave in the comment section, what will make Destiny better for you? What will make the game just better? This has been Raw coming at you raw. Pieces.